intermittent reinforcements, and a chemical dependence left me obsessed with the sporadic affections of a romantic tyrant. Chemistry led to physics and lines were drawn sharply there. I was ordered not to transgress into the radical and uncertain realm of emotions, a territory that exposed the glaring failings of a so-called professional. His eyes, so expressive, betrayed the pornographic bravado of his bona fide bachelorism. The instructions were non-negotiable. Encounters founded upon the principle that this was only a giggle, a fling. My dreamy lover, tall, handsome, and very dark, revealed himself as the fascist leader of the Love Opposition Party. Was it love or was it Stockholm Syndrome? His tongue assaulted my mouth like some kind of preemptive strike, but I could have sworn it had been a caress. There was no time, no room for tenderness. Compliance would have won me Mr. Right now, but ever the rebel, I resisted, risked radically, uncertainly, and barged into the forbidden domain like some kind of deranged Antigone or erotic Joan of Arc, destined to disobey unjust laws by placing my heart on the line. Because love is the ultimate revolution, and there are no stops on this train, so if a crash is what it takes, then at least I stand the chance of walking away. <laughs>